Hi, I'm Leanne, the Director of Education at the Squam Lakes Association. I'm glad you are joining me to explore the wonders of the Squam Lake watershed. Today we'll learn about my favorite reptile. Did you know that there are over 300 species of turtles? They live all over the world, including our oceans, where there are seven species of sea turtles, which is also where you can find the largest turtle of all, the leatherback weighing a whopping 500 to 2,000 pounds and can be as long as seven feet. You'll also find others like the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, which is the smallest sea turtle. While New Hampshire does have a tiny slice of coastline, it's not very common to encounter sea turtles because we are not in a region where they typically come ashore. In recent years, as the ocean temperatures continue to rise, there has been an increase in sea turtles along New England's coast, and sometimes they get trapped when waters rapidly cool, which stuns them and they wash ashore. The New England Aquarium has a 24-hour sea turtle rescue hotline for folks to report any distressed turtles found on the beach, where they are then rehabilitated and relocated to warmer waters. Because New Hampshire is not a breeding ground for sea turtles and they are quite rare to encounter, they are not included in our list of wildlife. But New Hampshire is home to seven different species of turtles, including the Blandings turtle, Spotted turtle, Wood turtle, Box turtle, Painted turtle, and Snapping turtle. The last two, the Painted and Snapping turtles, are common and found across New Hampshire. Today, we'll dive beneath the surface of Squam Lake and learn a little more about the snapper, or common snapping turtle. Snappers can be found as far north as southern Alberta, east to Nova Scotia, and extending as far south as the Gulf of Mexico and into central Florida. Their shell length ranges from eight to eight and a half inches, and their tail is nearly as long as their shell. They vary in color from dark brown to tan and can even be black. They only live in fresh or brackish water and prefer water with muddy bottoms and lots of vegetation to hide in. In New Hampshire, you can find them in ponds, vernal pools, swamps, bogs, streams, rivers, and of course, lakes like Squam. In general, you'll find them in the water, but they do come on land to nest and travel to other bodies of water. Females can lay 20 to 40 eggs in soil banks, sand and gravel piles in fields and lawns, and sometimes nest several hundred feet or more from water. It's at this stage as eggs and when they are hatchlings, when they are most vulnerable to predation from other large turtles, great blue herons, crows, raccoons, skunks, fox, bullfrogs, water snakes, and large predatory fish like largemouth bass. Like many other turtles, once they reach adulthood and are larger, there are fewer animals that prey on them. However, they are still vulnerable when crossing roads in search of new territories or nesting sites. So if you see a turtle on a road and it's safe for you, you can move it to the other side in the direction that it was headed. In the wild, they can live an average of 30 years and have lived up to 47 years in captivity. Snapping turtles use their sense of smell, vision, and touch, and may be able to sense vibrations in the water to catch their prey, which includes anything they can get their jaws around, like carrion, invertebrates, fish, birds, mammals, amphibians, and a lot of aquatic vegetation, which might come as a surprise to many, given their strong jaws. Snappers are not a threat to people unless provoked and do become quite aggressive when removed from the water. Unlike many other turtles, snapping turtles can't pull their head and limbs completely inside their shell for protection, which is likely why they may react defensively and snap their jaws. But as you can see in this video, while in the water, they can easily go undetected, blending in to the rocks or quickly swimming away. I usually see just the head of snapping turtles when they are coming to the surface for a breath and then they disappear. So I was very surprised and excited when I came across this one while snorkeling. I hope that you see some turtles while you are out exploring the Squam watershed and that you will share your turtle photos, videos, and stories with us. Stay tuned for the next episode of Squam Watershed Wonders.